Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. I got such great feedback about my last 15 minute pregnancy workout. I decided to do another one. So same format, but all new moves. We're gonna do a short warm up, hit exercises, and then a short cool down and stretch. You don't need any equipment. You can grab a water bottle to keep hydrated. I might look like I'm pregnant. I'm not actually pregnant right now. I'm just wearing a belly for demonstration purposes. I do have three kids, but I put out new pregnancy, fitness, and yoga and health videos every week. So if you like videos like these, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. This is designed to be safe for all trimesters. However, always consult with your doctor before starting any new exercise routine. Listen to your body and only do moves that feel safe for you and your baby. Let's start standing up for our warm up, getting up carefully, and we are going to tap behind and cross our arms in front. Just getting the blood flowing. Let's do some knee pulls so you can bring your hands down. Core is engaged as knees coming up. We'll do a couple more here. Let's warm up our hips with some hip circles. Good, and the other way. Let's take it out for some low impact jumping jacks. Awesome, and last warm up move, we're going to squat and then tap your foot behind. Last one. Awesome. I'm going to set the timer for 45 seconds on and a 15 second break or setup. I'm going to put a bell at the end so you can just focus on your body and you don't have to watch the screen. For the first move, we're going to do a lunge and a cross lunge. You can place your hands on your hips. We're going to step back into a lunge and then use your inner thighs crossed over and lunge again and move back and forth.
For the next one, we'll take our hands up towards our ears. We will bend and walk back and forth, staying nice and low across our mat. Let's find our balance on one leg and the other arm can go on the hip. We're going to lift out and down. Core's engaged. Let's set up on the other side. Yeah, he sets my body in motion. He just, he knows how to turn things up. And he knows what gets me going. Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? They look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us, thinking we are too much. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us. Mm -hmm. They look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us, thinking we are too much. Look You're doing great. Let's take a sip of water before the next one. I'm gonna take a stance with bent knees on the side. We're gonna do arm pulses, but to the back. Quick up and down, core is engaged. And then we're gonna take your arms together and apart, pulsing. Up and down. Together and apart. Let's switch stances. Up and down. Together and apart. Up and down and together and apart. Release. For the next one, you can use a wall or you can get down and do diamond push-ups on the ground. I'm gonna do them on the wall. So I'm going to put my hands in a diamond shape on the wall and then push up on the wall. So protecting my core or you could do on all fours. So I've got my diamond shape and push up.
Now we're gonna do fast feet, or alternatively, if you don't want to jump, you can do a step touch, or if you really wanna kick it up a notch, you can jog here. But we'll do fast feet. Let's move to one side, to the other side. Forward, back, go. Now we're gonna do alternating ghost punches. We'll do 10, a squat down, reach towards the ground, and other side. Awesome, let's get down on the ground, carefully down on our knees and onto all fours. Engage your core, feel as if you're hugging your baby tight into your spine. We'll lift three times on each side. back in child's pose but tilt to the side and you can stretch out your glutes good switching to the other side coming back up to all fours doing some hip circles whatever movement feels good going the other way let's take one leg out to the side let that hip drop down if it feels good you can go down on your elbows and stretch Coming up, we'll switch sides. Bringing your leg back in, coming back to all fours. Let's move up onto our knees. We can place one foot forward and we'll straighten that leg and flex it and you can either lean over your leg or if your hands go down to the ground, you can do that as well. Flexing will give a deeper stretch throughout your calf. Let's 
place that front foot down on the ground, shift our weight forward, and you can stretch out your hip flexor, your psoas here, if you're up here on your leg because of your belly, that's absolutely fine too. And you can stay here or for a more advanced stretch, you can bend your back leg, reach for your foot and get a nice quad stretch as well. Good, you can release that, come back to your knees. We'll do that on the other side. Stretching out your hamstring and calf. Let's place that front foot down on the ground, move into a lunge, staying here, or if you wanna go down to the ground. And again, don't feel like you have to do this variation, but if you want to, bending your back knee and you can stretch for a quad stretch of your back leg. Beautiful, if your back leg is up, releasing it down. And we can come back to a comfortable seated position. We are done the workout, you did amazing. That was an intense workout, even though it was in a short amount of time. If you enjoyed that video, please hit the thumbs up to let me know so I can make more of these types of videos. And of course, to get notified and to support me, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also check out the free pregnancy resources that I will put in the description box below, a guide on how to cope with pain for natural labor, a pregnancy meal plan, a Kegel guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for birth, the pregnancy yoga cards, and more. Thank you so much again for joining me. I really love being here with you. If you haven't seen the other 15-minute one, I'm going to link to that right there. And if you haven't subscribed, you can also link by hitting the subscribe button right there, and I'll see you in the next video.